Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaf Dawada, the house of David. All right, I'm the brother Zion. The brother Tazawar, Banawar. And, uh, you know, Spirit got us together. And we're just going to flow in the Spirit. You know, the scriptures say the Spirit is like the wind, it blows to and forth. You know, and, and, and you know, the seven different spirits of the Heavenly Father. All right, and that's seven going into completion. So, you know, the the, Lord, the scripture says this, right? Uh, where two or three are gathered together, I, in, in His name, He's there in the midst of us. So sometimes we we, we we have topics, sometimes we have ideas, and sometimes we just flow right off the spirit. So this is exactly what we're gonna do today. All right, so brothers, I got something real quick. Uh, Revelations 19 and 10, and I fell at His feet to worship Him, and He said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Yeah, Khan. Um, the spirit of, of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy. All right. And what, what, what do we do? Primarily, the head apostles of GMS, they teach us what? To, to prophesy. You know, to stay in the spirit of Yahweh Shai and to prophesy, mm -hmm. which is all cohesive. All right. And there's a lot of prophecy um, that's taking place. In the earth today all right so i actually got this um i got this um i got my news uh feed open brothers from uh russia rt act uh, rt app and um i'm looking at different articles you know what i'm saying so let me skim through this real quick um you speak up a little bit Come on. um let me so let me um let me see what got here so it says uh let me see if I can find anything good. Again, this brother, this is just off the whim. Yeah, I got a, a real quick precept. Go ahead, real, brother. Real quick, bro. Uh, Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Uh, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. Yeah, so I say it's who we are. We're a watchman. And what we do is we take the news and we filter it with the scriptures. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, everything is really is supposed to be filtered through the scriptures. But the news is, is, is uh, current events. All right, so we, we're, we're watchmen to the house of Israel. What are we watching for? We're watching for uh, the RFID microchip. We're watching for this cryptocurrency. We're watching out for this vaccination, telling you not to take these things. We're watching out for the sword, watching out for the adversaries, the enemy, because that's how it was back in the day, right? In Jerusalem, we had gates. And 24-7, and, and, and you would have uh, uh, different military personnel what watching all right, for the adversaries, watching for invaders, watching for uh, troops, spies, enemies, right? And, and 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 when they saw the adversary, the enemies, they did what? They sounded the alarm, which gave the people um, time to prepare uh, for whatever whatever event was going to take place. So when we come and kick this word, the scriptures refer to that. Get the book of Joel, yeah. <clears throat> chapter oh. three. Oh. And also um, Isaiah 58 and one. You want me to stop on the top or um, yeah, he can start from the top. Uh, Joel 3 verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time. I think it's I think it's 2. So it's all right. Yeah, uh, two. Joel chapter two, uh, 3 and 2. I will also gather all no, nations. No, no, it's like it's 2. Joel chapter 2. Oh, 2. Oh, okay, yeah. it's like it. no, Joel right. 2 verse 1. Blow you the trumpet in Zion. Yeah. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord coming, but it's not his. Yeah, so blow ye an alarm, you know, and you, and you could blow a trumpet, and then, um, you know, and, 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 and then what, you know? The the, the, the the alarm is to tell the world what is to come, and ultimately, everything that's happening in the world is leading up to the day of the Lord, all right? It's le leading up to the Third World War. It's leading up to the Battle of Armageddon. It's leading up to the RFID microchip. It's leading up to Jacob's trouble, which is going to result in the deliverance of Yahshua. Allah. This, this, this saving, this um, Israel being saved from the hands of our enemy is leading up to what America being destroyed, America being wiped out by thermonuclear missiles. Right. right. This is this is really what this is all about. You know, this is really what this is all about. Let's go ahead, start it, get at the top from Baba Kasha. Uh, Joel 2 verse 1. Yep. Blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Yeah, in this holy mountain, the government, wherever Israel is, is where uh, Israelites are, is, is where Israel is. Go ahead. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Yeah, let them fear because the scripture also mentions that. It says, go into the gates of the noble. But it says, when the keepers of the house shall uh, uh, tremble and really... Um, it's a state of confusion as far as the world order goes, all right, in the world. And, and, and every time 
Every time there's always a shakeup in the world order, it always leads to what? A third world war. Now in this in this article that I got here, it talks about um let me see real quick. It says um hold that for me, brother. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it says um it says Keep reading, bro. It says uh for the day of the Lord cometh for it is not in hand. You know what I'm saying? The day of Yahweh Hashem Shah is not at hand. And that's exactly why you're hearing wars and rumors of wars. The nations are pretty much getting ready, right? The Lord is pretty much uh, pouring out His Spirit upon these nations to pretty much kick this whole thing up because we know ultimately before a kingdom can be established, America, Babylon the Great, must be thrown down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because sure. ultimately, two kings cannot be uh, sitting in the throne. Right. The scripture right. clearly says that Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob, the beginning of it, that followed. Right. You know? So I, I found this article right here, right, where it states uh, the title reads, this is from RT, um, and it says, uh, A new scramble for Africa. Events in Ethiopia show how America and China are fighting a proxy war for the influence on the continent. Now, um, again, you know, every time there's a world war, there's always a shakeup in the world order. So you, it's, and it's always. Um, it's always because of a one nation's emergence. So it's one nation's uh, dominance uh, over the world, and another nation's uh, attempt to emerge to be as influencer, to be dominant, to be economically powerful, to be uh, militarily powerful, and even just to influence. All right, as it was a long time in which America's influence alone um, carried a uh, carried a lot of weight, but now you're starting to see China. Um, with a big influence economically becoming the second uh, biggest uh, economy in the world um, military starting to grow and military not just the personnel and numbers wise but um, and, and weapon trees yeah. right uh, thermonuclear missiles and then that power all right and that economics you know really is based off Africa you know we always talk about the Middle East and yeah there's a lot of um, resources. W- resources in the Middle East but when you the, the real mother of of, of, of natural resources is the continent of Africa. When you talk about diamonds, you talk about gold, you talk about platinum, you talk about the very material that's used to use these cell phones, um, uh, zinc, uh, minerals, coffee, you know, copper, uh, cocoa, copper, copper mm-hmm. you know, um, and, and, and the thing about it is the reason why there were no real major squabbles over this because Esau has always had his foothold in there. So the, 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 the squabbles were always in the Middle East because that was kind of you know, up for grabs, but because Esau had a monopoly over China and now uh, a monopoly over Africa, and now China's starting to influence there, you're gonna see what a Third World War, man. Everything is leading up to this Third World War. Right. So, so I'll read this a little bit. If you got a little bit more on that, bro. Or... Uh, verse two: A day of darkness and a gloominess, a day of cloud and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountain, a great people in a strong there had never been ever like. Neither shall they be. Neither shall they be any more after it. Yeah, this third, and the reason why is because this third world war is going to be hella destructive. It's going to be hell of destructive. The amount of of thermonuclear missiles and the capabilities that you know these nations have on 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 every side is 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 unheard of. Uh-huh. It's 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 never it's never been um, to the likes of this ever, ever, ever. And guess what? It's not going to be anything like this after it Because the scripture says what in the book of uh, Ezekiel The 38th chapter It says once this uh, Third world war takes place The war to end all wars What are we going to do? We're going to burn up all the weapons yeah. And it's crazy because Albert Einstein made that quote Just roughly paraphrasing He said a world, war world uh, World war 3 Will be fought with sticks and stones You know basically saying that After world war 3 World war 4 yeah. will be fought with sticks and stones right. You know yeah, the water, bro. Yeah, as, as the scripture prophecy says, that it's gonna be a, a, a battle of flames and fire. You know, a fuel of fire. And this is why the Lord set us up, man, to give warning because ultimately, this World War Three, the the major outcome is gonna be the death or the destruction of Babylon, which is America. And and majority of the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, dwelling here. So this is what goes back to the first few scriptures. The Lord has set up His watchmen to give warning to repent from your ways, your wicked. Ways and seek him uh, so you could be delivered. Come. And that's his role of Yahweh Shai, which means he is the savior, 
he's the deliverer, that impediment, impending danger is coming here to America. And the only way out for you Israelites to be delivered is through Yahweh Bashem Rashad. So we are the mouthpiece, man, to give you that warning. Mm -hmm. So I want to I want to get get right into this article, right? Because it's it's, it's beautiful how it's gone. Link, I think you what you got, but you got Joel still. Yes, yes okay. you got it. Okay, yeah. so is it this is going to link up with um. Ezekiel the thirty eight chapter, you know, just going into prophecy. And again, we we didn't have nothing prepared. We just rolling off the spirit, right? So it says, uh, Washington Longview. Again, the title of this one is uh, New Scramble for Africa. Events in Ethiopia show uh, how America and China are fighting a proxy war for influence on the continent. All right, Washington has long viewed the country uh, viewed the country as a critical partner in the key region, but the new sanctions. It's just imposed on uh, Addis Abba government. Addis Abba's government could backfire and push it closer to Beijing. It's been a weekend in extra. Uh, a week, it's been a weekend of extra, extraordinary developments in Washington's relationships with Ethiopia, in Ethiopia, and have also been, uh, which have also been a contradictory nature. On Saturday. The U.S. International Development Finance Corporation, the DFC, secured a contact with the consortium of companies to fund the country's 5G network on the conditions that money isn't used on China's telecom giant Huawei and its ZTE. So that's, you know, it's not a secret no more. I mean, well, well not to say anymore, but it's not a secret that, you know... America in Beijing or Washington in, in Beijing are at odds with each other, you know, for economical and just the influence in general, That's you know. Right. So they, they, they're going making they're making back doors with different nations saying, like, we'll deal with you on this. Just as long as you don't, you know, use this certain network. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, this proves that the antenna is, 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 is uh, being aroused. People are they're, they're waking up. They're, they're, meaning that uh, there's some tension, you know, if they have to go through side or back door dealings or you know trying to sanction others for not doing or, or messing with this it just shoot mm. it, it just shows that these nations are pretty much fighting up for position a position of power because they right. know this is something it, it, like like the brother said um, there's an uprising of a nation there's a, and there's a nations that that's uh deep dwindling right. that's going down hey, right? that's beautiful you said that because um if you ever to study electricity you know that um power cannot disappear you cannot do nothing with power. Power always exists. The only thing you can do is transfer power. So when you're flipping a light switch, the power is already at the switch. All you're doing is cutting the power off, but you don't never get rid of that power. And when you consider that, you use that terminology towards power in the world as power as nations. Um, when a, 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 a superpower goes down or as it starts to go down, it's called what's called a power vacuum. And, and by nature, there's other people that's always looking to fill that role of what that 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 nation has done, even on a little level or street level, if a big time drug dealer um, gets goes to jail, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Th that clientele, that fiend, that that, that, that that money, that is still there, and then what's gonna happen is that somebody else is gonna uh, basically just f fulfill that that position. Yeah, that's somebody right. else is gonna rise up to the occasion. Yep. You know what that's, I'm right. saying? that's exactly how it is. And, yep. and, and again, if I may add, this is all in the hands of the Lord. The Lord is putting. That, that spirit of war and that spirit and having their antennas raised to, to to pretty much get ready for that battle of Armageddon. Right. Because if, if I could just bring this out real quick. Go ahead, bro. Show. Yep. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. Yeah, beautiful. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, back in uh, the article, right, it says, it says, then the very next day, the State Department imposed sweeping sanctions over Ethiopia's go government and army, as well as cutting international aid over what it deemed as human rights abuse in the uh, Tigray region, where Adebayos is fighting a conflict with the rebel region government, regional region government. Okay. Bloomberg reported that these sanctions may be broadened to include blocking IMF and World Banking mm -hmm. lending to Ethiopia. Now, now the nation of Ethiopia is named man. Yep. Ezekiel the thirty eighth chapter should come to mind, yep. and, 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 and 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 as America had this uh, alliance with Ethiopia because it was it was um, vital, all right. There was a vital so called ally to controlling that region and controlling what was going on, all right. Um, 
naturally, according to the prophecy, this would happen so that Ezekiel 38 chapter chapter can happen. All right? Go ahead, brother. Give me Ezekiel. Ezekiel 38 verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tobol, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus said the Lord power, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tobol. A uh, Gog is Russia, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, modern day, uh, uh, modern day, uh, it's gonna come to me, go ahead, bro. It says, uh, and says, Thus said the Lord power, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the, Lord, the chief prince of Meshach and Tobol. And I will turn thee back and Ukraine. put hooks in thy on thy jaw. Say it again. Yeah. Ukraine, Ukraine. Yeah. And I will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaw. And I will bring thee forth in all thine army, horses and horsemen, mm -hmm. all of them clothed with all sort of armor. I'm sorry, militarily. Go ahead. Even a great company with buckler and shield. Yep. Mm -hmm. All of them having sword. Yep. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. All of them with shield and helmets. So Persia is uh, Russia. Uh, Persia is like Iran. Iran, yeah. All yeah. uh, right, and Ethiopia is allied with the Libyans as well as the Russians. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'll keep reading on this, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, and that's the shield and butler, right? That's yep. referring back to to the, the arsenal, the weaponry, right? Yep. Getting better, prepared for war. Yep. You know? Absolutely. And I, and I, Salaki, bro, that calls this with uh, Joel the third. Chapter, I believe, in the ninth verse, how the Lord has these other heathens uh, getting mm -hmm. that spirit of war, like uh, 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 to, uh, uh, to ultimately to go against Babylon, bro. Con. Yep. So, um, you could read that. You could read that in Joel real quick. That what that brother quoted. All right. Yeah. Get that real quick. Yep. Yep. Joel chapter three verse nine, and yep. it reads, uh, "Prepare, oh, Salaki, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: Prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up." Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, "I am strong." Yeah. So now this is a nation, um, and, and that, that 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 leader over there of of Ethiopia, he's a real strong leader. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is, um, Esau. We used to going over this in camp too, bro. Esau painted this image as these 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 people and these nations being such weak people. That's right. And what's happening is these ancient spirits are coming back. You know, mm -hmm. that spirit of Nimrod, that spirit of the Kushites, that spirit of the Persians. Mm -hmm. Those are these are ancient spirits that's being Ahmadinejad and uh, Kim Jong Un. That's you right. know, these are ancient Moabite spirits that you could read about in the scriptures mm -hmm. that, that's coming back. And they're coming back for prominence. They're no longer wanting to be stuck in the Stone Age or left out the loop, mm -hmm. um, considering their natural resources that they do have. A lot of people are waking up to the fact that, look, Africa is the... Um, Africa's are basically a gold mine and, 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 and they're being played all right in in, in in their resources and it's going to shake the world up. It's gonna shake things up, man. It's gonna bring light to people and hey they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna grab it. You see in the picture right here, you see they got they all got those are all AK forty sevens, ancient Soviet or not ancient, but uh, old Soviet Union um uh, 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 uh guns and whatnot, man. That's so right. they're gonna use they're gonna when this third world war coming uh, Russia's gonna utilize every asset that she has, man. Anybody that's willing to pick up a sword and and, and to fight these Americans, right. you know, they gonna they gonna be allied together. That's right. So it's gonna be uh, these other nations that were considered, let's say, twenty years, thirty years before, as weaker nations, as the the ones that's being bullied, yep. are now gonna be the ones that finally lick off and get their uh, uh, their retribution back oh. to to the big bully. Oh, Habakkuk, yeah. because yeah. those Libyans haven't forgotten what you know Hillary Clinton and 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 Barack Obama did to their country. Yeah, you right. know, I always say that Libya was a beautiful country, man. Yeah, yeah. Libya was a country where as you had a kid. You got, you know, you got money. It, 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 they, 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 the oil was like, you know, basically nobody owned the oil per se. You know, they, they distributed it everywhere. Yeah. They built a beautiful nation, like you know, college and education and schools. And and you, you Americans just basically just flatlined that place, man. To a third world country, man. Yeah, if I'm here right, when Muammar Gaddafi was leading Libya, he gave grant to a, a Libyan to st go study abroad. And he, if they want to marry, he give them them grant. If they want to uh, 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 anything they want to do, the, the government will back them up, right? Yeah. So ever since America took over, the country is pretty much in shit. In shit yeah. Monarch Gaddafi wanted to uh, unite the whole continent of Africa and call it the United States of, of Africa, uh, and, and have each uh, you know each uh, president, uh, you know, basically as mayors, you know, and he wanted a uh, one currency, 
which you know we know that that's not going to happen through the spirit but you know allowing us to condescend if that if something like that was to happen in esau's mind esau is not spiritual he's carnal right but if something like that was happening in esau's mind that would make that country that country of africa overnight the most richest and, and, and dominant powerfulest continent on the world man right. taking his currency and backing it by gold that would overnight cripple the imf cripple everything western about currency and about money yeah. and about trade and everything so what they had to do what they had to do and and, and get rid of africa but they haven't forgotten about all right what these devils did yeah, yeah. the scripture yeah. says you're gonna live by this world you're gonna die by it man you're gonna you have to reap what you sow and that's why the lord's is putting that spirit on these other nations to finally uh poke out their chest man grip up and and and, and not feel weak anymore they feel like they're on the same playing field with america man and they're gonna show it ultimately through the spirit of the lord Come on, this is real they quick yeah right when the lord give the go ahead these nations they're gonna happily uh, uh take down this place man no. that's it uh habakkuk chapter 2 uh verse 6 should not all these take up a parable against them in a taunting proverb against them and say woe unto him that increases that which is not his that's right how hey, long yep. so lucky, hey, they, yeah, woe to him that increases which is not him. He's that taunts in Proverbs throughout the whole earth, man. That people are chanting death to America. You know, they're making fun of the the latest presidents, or, or or you know, they they just have that spirit of uh, uh fuck Americans, man, and fuck well fuck uh uh, uh these devils, man. Yeah, so yeah, that's why yeah. they're ready, man. They 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 they're ready to strike, man. And ultimately, yeah. it's the, the Lord is gonna give them the the. The, the the A OK man, you know? The, since, the push so the button, yep, you know? since this so called pandemic you had a lot of people that's been taking trips and Puerto Rico has been a hot spot because um you don't need a passport to get there. Mm -hmm. And 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 those so called Puerto Ricans down in the island, they don't want Americans in Puerto Rico at all, man. That's right. They've been pushing back heavily like, yo, we don't fucking want y'all down here, man. Nobody wants America, whether it be black American, so called niggas, like you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Edomites. They just don't want a fucking Americans in that Babylonian mind frame and that Babylonian spirit in their country. And a lot of nations are getting like that, man. A lot of nations are rejecting this whole Babylonian mind frame, That's man, right, man. As they should. Right? So um it says, uh shall shall not all these take up a parable against them and a taunting proverb against them and say, Woe unto him that increases that which is not his. How long to him that leadeth himself with thick clay? Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee? Thou shalt be for booties unto them, because thou hast spoiled many nations. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land, and of the city, and all them that dwell therein. That's right. Hey, that's the that's the payback, man. That's the retribution for uh, America, man. America is gonna have to taste that blood. This place is gonna uh, is gonna be soon a third world country, man. And then it's soon not gonna be found off uh, found no more because it's gonna be utterly destroyed by them thermonuclear missiles, man. And that's all these nations coming together to, to pretty much beat that big bad bully, man, that stole their resources, that forced their philosophies on, on these other lands in the east. Hey, man, this that's the payback, man. All right, Revelation chapter 18, verse 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you, right. and double unto her according to her works. And the cup which she have filled, uh, filled to her double. That's right. Hey, that, Salaki, yep. bro, that cup is uh, oppression. It's going to be slavery. It's going to be destruction. Misery. Misery, yep, yep. Tribulation. America's been living deliciously, been living comfortable off, uh, you know, strong arming mm -hmm. these other nations. But now it's time for, for them to feel what they give out, man. Burning, you yeah. know. Um, uh, uh, Khan, how much has she glorified herself and lived deliciously? So much mm -hmm. torment and sorrow give her. For she's saying for her heart, I said, as a queen, I am no widow. I shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, mm. death, mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. That's right. Yeah, because ultimately that's exactly what's going to take place. Esau spent his all uh, pretty much ever since um, 1776. Esau came came and built this place up, right? But in one hour, everything going to come to nut. Everything that you see here going to mm -hmm. turn into dust, man. That's that, right. That's how, that's exactly what it is. The scripture says, uh, the triumph of the wicked is short in the jaw of the hypocrite, but for a moment. So the Lord allowed these devils a uh, 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 temporary woolish on the earth, man. You know? That's right. That's right. So, um, it says, um, hey, man, we're seeing it, man. That's why it blesses our eyes that we can see the downfall of our enemy. You know, that's why we are constantly, you know, uh, checking out these articles and what's going on in news events and we're filtering them to the prop uh, to the prophecies of the scriptures as you know that mark of the beast which is the rfid microchip is soon uh, 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 um, coming you know jacob's trouble 
you know, tribulation, bad times, evil days is coming. And then that ultimately the icing of the cake is World War Three. Okay. And that, and this is why uh, where we were set up through the spirit power Yahweh Hashem Shai to get the elect to pretty much to come back to seek the Lord to forsake the philosophies of, of this world, man. Con, yeah. it says, uh, Con, it says, uh, mourning, famine, mm -hmm. and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord Power who judges her, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament her mm -hmm. when they shall see her smoke, uh, see the smoke of her burning, man. That's right. Yep. And this is, this is, uh, thus said the Lord, man. It's uh, impossible for the Most High to lie. His words go without void, so. The, uh, America is, is has been declared. It doesn't go without void. Oh, Salak, get the water, bro. His words, his words go without void, right? Oh, so doesn't go without void. Yeah, it doesn't go without <laughs> void. Meaning, right. he is. It, it's already been established. The Lord declared the end from the beginning. So there's nothing that uh, Esau could do to upset prophecy, man. Babylon is going to be utterly destroyed, uh, uh, whether you believe it or not. Man. Yeah, that's all. That's poetic justice, right? Poetic justice. Esau dropped bombs in Hiroshima, Nagasaki, right? Yep. He dropped, destroyed his cities, destroyed yep. Libya, destroyed yep. Iraq. Guess yep. what? Your, your habitation, your power is still going to yeah. be destroyed, man. Yeah, did you think that you wasn't going to be touched? Mm -hmm. You know, that's what Germany did in the Second World War. All that chaos and, and hell that Germany caused, there was a point in time where, you know, uh, Germany wasn't even touched. But then when it did get touched, you know, everybody fucking rejoiced because... She don't they drop bombs on everybody and their grandmother, man. That's so, right. So, so, and, and then what? Naturally, when it comes back to you, nobody's sad, man. And when this bitch goes out, you gonna have people crying. All right, but guess what? The scriptures say that the 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 uh, the, the, the uh, prophet. As a matter of fact, I'll read it. Right. Twenty one. Uh, this is verse twenty one. Uh, twenty. 20. Yep. It says, uh, "Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. That's right. For the Most High have avenged you on her." Hey, if I may add, that's the spirit that you got to be in, you know, to you want this place to be destroyed, man. Because this place is, uh, 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 is miserable. This place is our, this is our captivity. We can't, uh, the no judgment go out for. There's no righteousness. There's no mercy here. You know, we're, we're constantly in captivity. So the true mindset of a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American man, woman, and child is... Uh, uh, for this place to be destroyed yeah. and for a new heaven Absolutely. and earth to dwell in righteousness. Absolutely, man. the destruction of America and the beginning of the kingdom of heaven, man. This That's place got to fucking go, right? It says, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, "Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and she be found of no more at all." That's right. Hey man, hey so man, with that man, we pray and hope that that was edifying. We want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushua, Bashem, Rakadash. Shalom to the elders. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaftawada. Shalom. Shalom.